I am here with Ashley. We are doing some really fun festival inspired looks that we're going to share soon. Um, the first festival I'm going to this season is next week, so this will be perfect timing to get some fun ideas. We're going to be doing at least three different looks. So hard to decide, you guys, because there are <laughs> so, so many, many looks ones. that I want to do. I brought some amazing neon colors from Krylon, also lots of like rhinestones, Swarovski crystals, and some really fun like face tattoos. Sounds crazy, but it's going to be really cool. Yay. And I don't want to spoil it all, so stay tuned, you guys. We'll give you a quick breakdown here in a bit. Yay. Okay, so the first festival inspired look is gonna be all about the eyes. I want it to be soft, dewy skin and tattoos over the eyes. So I just applied a few drops of the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and then we use the shade Custard. So this has a really nice like neutral, olivey undertone, which I think goes really well with your skin. And a little bit goes a long way. The coverage is medium, but it's buildable. And I'm just using like a flat Marc Jacobs concealer brush and just patting this into the skin and then we'll set with a little bit of translucent. I don't want to overdo it with the translucent because I don't want it to look cakey. I still want to have like some shine and some dewiness. So in that case, it's really good to go in with the smaller brush to set your concealer. That way you can go in just in the places that you want to powder and get rid of a little bit of shine. So we are using the Hourglass pencil. So this is your favorite pencil. Which yeah, you this just, is one I use. She just introduced it to me today. So I'm gonna try it out for the first time, but I'm pretty familiar with this style pencil. I love that it kind of has like a triangular applicator. It makes it really easy. What I found apply. that I like about this one is because I feel like my skin sometimes is shiny, it doesn't fall off. But some oh, nice. of the other ones, like the powder, like sometimes I feel day. like I'll wipe something and then I'll have a line. So you know what I mean? Right, like this has a waxier texture. Yeah, it has like, a little so bit like more. really sticks to the skin and adheres really nicely. She's got a really great brow shape, so I feel like I don't have to do so much um, defining. I'm just going to go in and like lightly shade. And I'm just following the top of the arch of the brow with a pretty light hand. And then bringing it downward. And now I'm just gonna brush through just to make sure it looks a little more feathery. I typically like the bottom to look a little bit softer than like the top of the brow. So make sure you hold a pretty soft um, touch with the pencil. And with a really steady hand, I'm bringing it down into the tip. I'm using the pencil in a vertical strokes just to make it look a little more wispy in my hair. I love how she did my brows because she has a more like feathered, as she said in the beginning, and sometimes I put them too heavy, <laughs> so they look drawn on sometimes, but I like this. So cool. So this is what the package looks like. Now you can kind of just go in and cut out your favorite designs and styles. I'm loving these because they're super fun, and we've already cut out a few to put on the eyes. So I'm pretty much done with this eye. We finished the first eye and I'm loving the way that this looks. I just kind of wanted, wanted them to be like a little bit separated and I'm gonna throw a gloss on top just to make the look cohesive with the glossy skin, glossy chest, glossy lip. And I'm kind of thinking we need to add maybe just one more. What do you guys think? Yeah, I think so. Maybe like right here. So I love how the look that. is still so fresh though. It's not a very heavy makeup, but it, there's cool details that stand out. I feel like this is perfect for Coachella. You know, it's hot in the desert and Palm Springs. You don't want to have too much on your skin. Why not make the look, you know, more about like the eyes and glowy skin. So I'm just using a damp paper towel and I'm kind of just pressing and holding for about 30 seconds just to make sure that this area is saturated. You don't want this paper towel to be too wet. I also think a cotton round or a cotton ball would be great too. I just didn't have one with me today, so we just kind of had to like whip this up last minute, so we used a paper towel. But hey, whatever works. Now release. I'm gonna take tweezers just to peel this off because I think it's a little bit easier when you have nails. And boom. Then you wanna go on top of it for about probably like th mm, three to five seconds just to lock it in with some moisture and release. I decided to add one more. <laughs> Might as well. We already had them all on, so. Yeah. So we're just adding a little ice cream cone. I just felt like I needed to step back and kind of take a look at it and see if there was any gaps. And they feel really comfortable. Like they don't feel oh, good. like a thick sticker. Sticker tattoo, yeah, right? Yeah, it feels like regular, like I don't like have anything on. Lightweight. It's like it's not even there. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, Obsessed. I love that. No, That's this so, is that needed amazing. it. The last one, right? Right. 
Oh my I God, love I love it. It's so good. Body lava. Yeah, it's so nice. The, the lightest shade. I'm gonna get it too for next weekend. It really does add that nice glow. So I'm just gonna go in with the Girlactic Eye Gloss. You can use this on the eyes or the lips. I'll probably do both just to keep it cohesive. It makes it really easy because it has this nice lip applicator so you can just place the gloss in the areas that you want it to be extra dewy. In this case, I kind of want the whole lid to be glossy. And just slightly bringing it up to the crease just to give us a really beautiful wet look. And then you can just go in and pat it with your fingers. Great thing about this gloss is that it doesn't feel super sticky on the eyelid compared to other glosses that I've used. And we'll just start from the lash line and bring the gloss up to the crease where the eye folds. And you can basically just bring this gloss anywhere that you want to add extra shine. It's pretty amazing. I can never get enough shine on my skin too, I love it. Right? And we'll just pat this in here. Oh, it smells so good. I'm all about the love scent. Love that, all about the smells. <laughs> So for the hair, just to complement the glossy eyelids and the really dewy skin, we went with a wet look for the hair. So for the hair, the second festival look for today, we're just gonna keep it really sleek and straight and middle part for this look. So I wanna keep this eye and skin look pretty clean, but I do feel like it would be nice if we add a little bit of definition under the lash line. So I'm gonna be using these eyeshadows from Cosette. It's just these two light brown shades here mixing them together and using a pretty small brush to give us easy definition. And I'm just gonna take this brush and kind of glide back and forth right underneath the lash line. So for this second festival look, I really wanted to focus on a glitter eye, but without the mess, because nobody wants to rock a glitter eye with like glitter fall yeah. out all over your face. And you never can get it off. Never can get it off, like it gets all over your clothes. So I thought that this brand would be perfect to use. This is Lemonhead, it's their space paste. And the shade that we're gonna be using is Silver Lake. So as you can see, it's a gel texture. So it's just gonna glide onto the skin. You can literally put this anywhere on the body, but I thought today we'd keep it pretty simple just focus on the eyes. So first I want to start off by creating like a silver base and just creating a shape to the eye before we go ahead and pat on the lemon head space paste. So I'm going in with Cosette eyeshadow. It's this silver shadow here. These come in singles. You can buy them at Nigel's and I'm using Fix Plus to get the brush wet and I'm kind of just dipping it in here. So I'll show you guys. This is a brush from Dior. It's number 13. It's really flat and synthetic, so it makes it really easy to go in and create a nice shape on the eyes. So I'm just following the natural crease of where the eye folds, and I'm just going in and really defining the crease with the silver eyeshadow. You wanna have a really steady hand with it just to make sure that your edges are really nice and sharp. So as you can see, I'm just kind of going back and forth to make sure that it's flat and even, and there's no skipping in the eyeshadow. My brush is pretty wet with the Fix Plus. It makes it a lot easier to make the eyeshadow just kind of glide on and it turns the pressed eyeshadow into a liquid. So it's really nice. So I'm gonna go in using like a flat synthetic brush just because I can go in and create more of like a precise shape. So I'm just gonna use the back of my hand as a little palette just to kind of get the brush loaded up. And then we'll just go in by patting on the eyelid and then as you get closer to the crease, just press really firmly and keep a steady hand. So as you get closer to the wing, you wanna switch your brush so you can get in a lot tighter. So I'm just using something a little more dense and more flat and square. Just getting as close as to the lash line as I can and following the shape that I've created here. Okay, so now I'm gonna switch it up and go back to like my small brush because I feel like there's a few patches in between and I want this to look as opaque as possible. So I'm going in with my small brush and just filling in any little gaps that I see, especially by the lash line. So I gave Brittany a really cute, relaxed wave, which she normally doesn't do with her hair, but this is an awesome festival look because with the humidity and if you get sweaty, you don't have to worry about it being too perfect. So I used the GHD one inch styler to get the waves and this is what makes it possible on short hair because otherwise it's kind of hard to get a wave pattern. 
And then we're just, we just got these really cute flowers from the craft store and I just attached wig tape to the back. And then I'm just kind of randomly placing them throughout her hair and we just pop it on and then afterwards we could just peel it right off. So I wanted to do something that would be like pretty cohesive with Justine's style on the hair. So I wanna to stick to this flower power look and we're gonna be using smaller flowers and I'm just gonna be placing them right underneath her eyebrows but still keeping the look fresh and clean. So I put a little bit of Ardell glue on the back of the flower, just slightly press and release. And I'm just gonna add a few more just to keep the look really cohesive with the hair. So now we just need to get it pretty saturated. Teamwork. I know. Look at me. I'm a makeup artist. Look at you. Oh my god, giving me a run for my money. She's like, I do lip tattoos and hair. <laughs> That's it. We're gonna hire you for lip tats. <laughs> cool. So now, because we did such a cool, edgy lip, I'm gonna add these chains to her hair. So kind of like a rocker inspired look. That's cool, yeah. <laughs> Now we're on to our last festival inspired hair look. I still have the tattoos from the previous, the lip tattoos. They're so comfortable though, you really don't feel like anything. I actually forgot that I had them on, <laughs> but <laughs> can't I pick up Jaden from school like this? <laughs> She'll be embarrassed of me, but. And so we just got these little gems from a craft store and then we just attached the wig tape to the back of them and we're just placing it right on her part. Super easy. She's killing these looks. <laughs> I'm dying. Oh my god. Serving so much lip looks today. We're just wrapping up our final beauty look. Thank you guys so much for tuning in for this festival inspired. <laughs> inspired. <laughs> inspired. <laughs> We've just served so many looks. It's like it's honestly hard to talk at this point. Yeah. yeah. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I had so much fun with Ash and Justine. We oh, just had fun doing of the some, last one. Yeah, this is not <laughs> Glam complete. and processed them, we're almost done. <laughs> but I hope you guys are able to use some of these looks at the festival. And if you like videos like this, comment below. Let me know what other types of beauty looks you would like to see, or <laughs> I literally feel like I have a growth on my face. You do. <laughs> you do. This is the look, we're done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a look. <laughs> And don't forget to subscribe.